today I'm going to show you how to optimize your PC that way you could play at the highest level. So the first thing I'm going to go over is your NVIDIA control panel settings. So on the top where it says adjust image settings with preview, the first thing I'm going to do is slide this all the way to performance. And then manage 3D settings, I'm going to show you all the ones that you have to turn on. So the first thing you're going to do is go into low latency mode and switch this all the way to ultra. Most games do have this setting in game, but you should do it in both NVIDIA and in actual games. Next you go to power management mode and you put this to prefer maximum performance. And lastly, for texture filtering quality, you should put on high performance. Once you go to change resolution, you should always have your refresh rate set to the highest setting. Anything under 240Hz, I consider a limiting factor, so if you're in a situation where you need to get every single possible kill, whether you play competitively or you're a content creator, get at least a 240Hz monitor. Once you get to set up G-Sync, you should always have G-Sync off. There's a lot of videos covering G-Sync and how it causes input lag, but long story short is, if you have more frames than the refresh rate of your monitor, you should have it off, but if you have less frames than your refresh rate, you should have it on. Next you're going to find where your game is installed and then you're going to right click it and you're going to go into properties. Once you go into properties, what you're going to do is you're going to go to compatibility and you make sure that you disable full screen optimizations. Next you go into change high DPI settings and you make sure that you click this box as well. And then you search up graphic settings and you make sure that this is off. The only reason why you would have this on is if your CPU is balls. Next you go to browse and then you open up wherever your game is installed and you add it. And it'll create one of these profiles over here. Once you go to options, you put it to high performance. Next, you right-click your toolbar and you go to News and Interest and you turn it off and then just turn off anything here that you don't need. Next, search up Game Mode and then turn it on. Once you go to Captures, you turn everything off and then you go to Xbox Game Bar and you turn that off as well. Next, you're going to go to Command Prompt and you're going to copy this command into your Command Prompt. Once you enter it, it should unlock the Ultimate Performance Plan. Also, I will have this exact same line in the description. Once you do this, what you can do is you're going to search up Choose a Power Plan and it should appear as Ultimate Performance. Next, you type in notifications, and what you do is you turn off notifications, you go into focus assist, you turn it off, and then you go to tablet settings, and make sure it's always set to never use tablet mode. Here in Ubisoft Connect, what you can do is you can click over here and go into settings, and what you do is you make sure all of these are clicked off, and go all the way down here to notifications, and you click off both of these as well. What this is going to do is that it's going to turn off your overlay in game, giving you extra frames. In game, once you go to display, the first thing you're going to do is you're going to set your game to borderless. The only reason why I want to do this is because it's currently a glitch where if you're on full screen, randomly you're going to get 100 milliseconds of extra delay for no reason. Here in graphics, you're going to go to the NVIDIA Reflex Low Latency and you're going to put it all the way to On Plus Boost. And here are the graphics settings that I use in game. So what I did over here is I put my texture quality on low, I put my filtering all the way to the max, and I put LED on low. The reason why I put LED on low is because it doesn't do anything no matter where you put it. Once you go to shadows, I put on medium, that way you can see people that are appearing around the corner. Here I have anti-aliasing off and I have everything else on low. I don't have anything special in my settings other than having shadows at medium and having my filtering all the way to the max. Next thing you want to do is you want to hit control shift escape and this is going to open up task manager. You're going to go into more details, then you're going to go into details and you're going to find where your game is at. And once you find your game, which one has the most RAM, that's your actual application. You're going to right click it, you're going to go into set priority and you're going to put it on high. What this does is it prioritizes the game over everything else on your computer. And if your CPU sucks, what you can do is you can put it on just above normal and you're going to have a similar effect. Also in task manager, you can go into startup and you can disable all the stuff here that you don't need. Final tip I have for you guys is that if you go into the bottom, you're going to see the subscribe button. You should probably click it. It's a good idea. And if you go into my link tree, there's all of my links. You can see everything else that I do with my life. If you don't know anything about me, my name is Soggy FPS. I'm 20 years old and I just got evicted in March. But now that September, we're through all that. So I live here in New York City with my wife and cats. And now I make one of tens or elevates. We only make the best videos. We make only bangers. This jersey is very clean, by the way. Get your merch.